This has been a fairly miserable year for Jets safety Marcus May, and it got a little bit more miserable on Monday when it was revealed that back in February, he was arrested, charged with driving under the influence and leaving the scene of an accident in Broward County, Florida. He's also had a civil suit filed against him by the driver of the car he allegedly hit on the Florida Turnpike. There were no injuries, which is the good news, but because of the arrest and the incident, May is facing a possible suspension from the NFL. They're investigating the incident. It could be a violation of the personal conduct policy. It's unclear how long that investigation is going to take, but May does have another court hearing coming up on October 20th, so it's possible there could be some sort of resolution then. And Boy, this is just the latest thing for Marcus May, who has been unhappy since March, really, when he was given the franchise tag by the Jets. A lot of money, but not as much money as he wanted. He, of course, wanted a long-term contract, and the Jets wanted to wait and see, have him prove his value before they made that kind of investment. Uh, in August, he was not voted captain by his teammates. One year after he not only was a captain, but he was also the team MVP. And then, of course, uh, he has an ankle injury that's going to keep him out a month and once the timeline of that ankle injury was reported, his agent confirmed it on Twitter and said he'll be back right before the trading deadline, which many people took as a little bit of a hint that Marcus May wouldn't mind to be traded, either to uh, a better team or a team that would be more interested in giving him the long-term contract that he obviously believes he deserves. But his value right now is low. Between the injury and the arrest and a possible looming suspension, it's not just a bad year for Marcus May. It has gotten to be a very complicated year for the Jets' safety as well.